Hello, welcome again to DPV Technology. Today, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to make an RGB color sensor using RGB LED and an LDR with Arduino. So, it will be look like something like this. It will be so. If we keep a red color in front of the sensor, this LED will automatically become red. And if we keep a blue color in front of the sensor, you see this becomes blue. And if we keep green, this becomes green. So this is great and funny. So I am now going to show you the coding part and requirement. Two RGBA LEDs. One LDR. One LDR. I'm using 10 mm diameter LDR. And uh, three resistance of values 320 ohm. And uh, Arduino board, breadboard, and connecting wires. This is male to male jumper wire. Okay. This is the code section for this project. Here we are defining three integers red LED equal to green LED equals three and blue LED equals four. These are the integers for this LED. The LED of the sensor. This is an RGB LED. Yeah, and this it has four terminal, one is ground and other three is other three are red, green and blue. Since the red terminal is connected to pin number two of the Arduino. And green pin is connected to pin number three and blue pin is connected to pin number four of Arduino so we are defining like this now in this section we are taking four integer variable one is value that is the analog output of this sensor to, uh, which is connected to pin number a0 of the Arduino and we are taking three integers red blue and green i will tell you why we are using this also here also we are defining three integer variable red value green value and blue value i will tell you why we are using this and also integer red out equal 8 green out equal 9 and blue out equal 10 for this led this is the led where we are observing the color now in the both setup we are defining this uh, these pin modes uh, red led is connected to uh, since the red led is connect is taking we are taking as output so here we are defining as pin mode red led output green led for this led green led equal output blue led equal to output blue LED is also output this is the pin modes for the sensor LED RGB LED and we are defining here also pin mode value input since the sensor will give input value to the Arduino and here for this LED we are taking we will give value voltage for this LED so here we are defining as like this again we are here writing here serial begin for we will see actually what is the component of color for an object which we will place here in the void loop we are writing digital write led high red led high that means 
when this LED will become red then the sensor that is the LDR will get the value of red color for that object so with this we are writing red equal to analog read value that is the Arduino will read the analog output terminal of this LED this is the value here we have defined this here we are connecting to pin number A naught of the Arduino so we are writing analog read value then we are giving some delay here then we are writing serial pin R and serial pin red that means it will show us the color as R equal to the value of the color for red then we are digital right read uh, red LED low that means we will turn off the red LED here then for again we have to write green LED high that means we will turn on the green LED here and then the LDR will give us the value of green color for that object which we are placing here so we are writing here digital write green LED high as well as analog read value the Arduino will read this value of the green color then the for watching what is the color what is the comp what is the component of color what is the value of the color here we are writing a serial pin Z and then serial pin green for observing the value of the color actually and for blue also we are defining this section you can directly see so now we will def uh, writing here if statement now you see when we place some object say red color here then the value of red color will be greater than green color and the red color will be greater than blue color for that object so we are writing if red is greater than green and red is greater than blue then the red value we are taking here one integer i have told you before that we are taking these integers for some special purpose so we are placing a high voltage to this integer red value equal to high then uh, here we are writing yields red value equal low so if we are placing a red object here then this condition will become true and other conditions here you see if green is so for this object these conditions will become wrong so the control will directly come here so the red value is since high and other values are you see these all values are low here instead of running instead of executing the if statement here else statement is executed so the other value will be low green value will be equal to low and blue value will also become low so after executing all this statement we get only high value to red value only so digital write read out red value we are writing this statement so this means it is high so read out will become high so the LED will become red since red out is the integer for the output to this LED we define it in the in this section here you see this is red value and this is red out is 8 so red out this red out is connected to pin number 8 the red terminal of this LED is connected to pin number 8 and we are taking this integer as red out so this will become red the LED will become red and 
for this is uh, for this green value and blue value these are low actually so the led will become only red the led will not become any will not blink with any other color and like this if you place any blue object then this condition will become true only and other two will become false so this for blue object this statement will be executed that is green value will be low and red value will be low only this statement will be executed this statement will be executed and blue value will become high so we get here only this high and other two are low so the led will become blue only like this for green color also the code will be executed